For this casting procedure, you'll need web roll, 3-inch plaster slabs, rolled gauze, and a bucket of warm water. The position of the patient's hand will be crucial. You might find it best to have the patient supine. The elbow is bent at 90 degrees, and in order to take the tension off the MCP area, the wrist will be extended by about 20 degrees, with the fourth and fifth fingers flexed to create a Z shape. Before we begin the casting, we'll take a small section of the web roll or gauze and place it between those fingers to prevent maceration of the skin. Start wrapping around the fingers, working down and around the palm, tear or poke a hole as needed to accommodate the thumb. We continue wrapping the web roll nice and easy, no pulling or tension providing adequate cushioning around any bony prominences or areas of swelling. And we continue down to the antecubital fossa. Measure out the necessary length of plaster slabs and tear to suit. You'll want 8 to 10 layers. Dunk the plaster slabs in the bucket of warm water. Squeeze out excess water by compressing the material accordion style. Apply the plaster, starting with the fingers, molding to conform with the fingers and hand, and smoothing the material into a gutter shape. Don't forget to hold that Z. All of the plaster surface must be covered as the gauze is wrapped around. Remember the patient must maintain the hand in that Z position for proper healing, even if it's uncomfortable. If the patient moves, you'll see cracks and pressure points appearing at the distal crease and wrist.